the bell rings for round two in the Midland Football League Premier Division as Newark Flow Serve take on Coventry United. Both sides victorious on the opening day and look to continue their, albeit short, lived 100% record. Let's get this show on the road. Newark Flow Serve versus Coventry United right here on Coventry United TV with Liam Cook. It has been a battle in the opening 10 minutes. So Grady seemed to be held there. Free says no, and now it's with Agar. Can he find that through pass? I think he was going for goal himself, and it skews off to the left. He could have played it through for Meadows. It would have been a difficult pass. Here's Lawrence Gorman. He wants options. They're not forthcoming, so he'll keep the ball. Punts it towards the United penalty area. And once more... It is a white shirt diverted out this time for a throw. Cotton. Low cross and sent wide. First real opportunity of the match. A frustrated figure, Sam Agar, disappointed with himself. Right here in Nottinghamshire United are oh, going to have to be careful here. And Wardle doing just enough to keep King at bay. The back pass from Bennett was a little soft and Wardle had to be on his toes. I mean, he blasted it against the striker and then cleared at the second attempt. Nervous times for the travelling red and greens. E-Banks, Meadows, overlapping from being made by the fullback. Meadows with the cross, no one home. Williams header, picked up by Agar. Agar strikes, dotted into the ground by Williams, still in there with King. Plenty of defenders there, and it is Josh O'Grady who fires as far as Beckett. Curls it to the left, and unfortunately, Agar's not that tall. Agar's flick on with the header, only as far as the feet of Luke Downs are stretched by Potts. His hands all over Gardner. Gardner is able to hold off the captain and play it out wide with Haddo. Skips past the defender, in it goes Gorman, Bouchai. And it's blocked up by Ryan Ebanks with the danger far from over. Haddo goes for it alone. And it sails high and wide. The challenge in by Matt Cotton. Interception by Meadows. Now Beckett. Threads it through for Cotton. It's path covered off by Bennett. Oh, I get that. Slip through for Meadows, low cross by Meadows. King side netting. And it's taking a deflection off as well off Aaron Williams. Corner kick for Newark. And was that deflection the only thing separating Flosser from the opening goal? Play on given as uh, Downs was held by Beckett. Advantage gone as Downs loses control of the ball but charges down the intended clearance by Ebanks. Josh O'Grady's got Bouchard with him. Downs two, plays it short to Luke Downs in the centre. Here's Kyle Carey in space, looking for the long range effort. Perhaps he scored against Hormond and the deflection may take it in, but just wide. Connects with the back of Lawrence Gorman. <laughs> Long throw into the box, headed on by Gardner, and at last a save drawn from Joe Searson. <laughs> Billy Aero turns O'Grady but only into the path of Jake Holt. Bouchard wants it, Bouchard gets it. Taking on Meadows, determined run from the, the young left back. Bouchard's cross! Gardner, will that cross? How on earth have Newark escaped? Gardner looking to the linesman on this near side, hoping to see the flag raised. It stays by the line side. A hand, a post, a leg, everything used to deny Coventry United. Unbelievable. Here's the substitute Barrow to send it in. Every outfield player in the United half. Can Flosser finally open the scoring? It's a header wide to the near post by Elliot King. Jaron Barrow to loft it into the United end of the park. It's towards Agar. They want a free kick for a bit of manhandling on the edge of the area. They're not going to get it. Piliero tries to bring it down. Piliero goes to the ground at the charge of Joe Cairns. Cairns tries to spring clear. Only meets Dixon. Dinged into the area for King. 
Can he get the cross away? It's towards Agar, and he's smacked it off the woodwork. Launched towards the far side by O'Grady. It's going to come back in, is it? Stabbed to the ground by Williams Bennett. King wins it back from the young centre back. Back in, Agar's there again. Ison, it's sent back right here by Dixon, and it's a free kick for a foul on Wardle. And breathe. Absolutely enthralling stuff. Newark flow serve, smacking an effort off the crossbar, the unchallenged header by Sam Agar. You have to think from that position, with no marker in sight, he should have put it into the top corner. He'd be disappointed with that one, seeing it back. And United still furious, they're saying that United couldn't have been offside because it was directly from a throw, which the laws of the game would indicate. You can't be offside from a throw, but obviously the uh, Eliza and the referee in agreement. And the decision was made. Nothing United can do about it now, but they can put themselves on the score sheet. Out comes Searson, over a kick by Gardner, and launched away by Barrow. Searson taking a chance, it very nearly backfired. In the centre circle, Dixon avoids the leap in by Jake Holt. Cotton goes into the area. Lewis Eisen sends it into the vicinity of Harry Sawyer. Sawyer tries to force Andrews out and able to do so. Crossing over Tuesday for Cotton. Cotton's delivery headed over the crossbar. Dixon racing in but couldn't keep his headed effort below the woodwork. Oh, it's certainly crunch time and United are preparing Anthony Smith would be their final change. Well, it worked on Saturday. Will that sub work again tonight? Well, United being from before Smith makes it onto the field. There's still Mike despite the attempted headed clearance. Joe Cairns going to get the shot away. No, he can't. There's Jake Holden, a cheeky back heel by Gardner, but it's saved on the line. <laughs> well, that would have been one of the more flamboyant goals that we've seen on CU TV. But Searson had other ideas. And the fans want to get this one back in the way as soon as they can. United would be more content with the draw coming away from home to a, a team that many would fancy to challenge for the title this season. But it's O'Grady chesting it down, looking to create some space and start the move, but runs into the path of Meadows. And Meadows has given it on a silver platter to Jake Holt. He runs over the ball. Smith wants it played through. Still going Jake Holt, tries it on his own, and it cannons off the leg of Potts. In that sort of position, you'd say Holt is the right player on the ball. They didn't have the space to send it through. Now Meadows. Switch of the play, looking for King, headed up rather than out by Sawyer. It may fall cunning for Agar. Agar nodded to the left hand side. Now Elliot King. He's got Cotton in support. Low cross by King. Holt diverted to the path of Sawyer. Swords comes only as far as Andrews! Wardle with both hands to it, palms it out. Crucial save from the United number one. A dipping thunderous strike from Andrews. A strike worthy of winning any game. And it would have been quite the winner for Newark. But they'll have to wait and they're going to find one in the corner punched away by Wardle. He's having a crucial role to play. And it looks like that is what's going to happen. So United have got the drop ball. It is played from the position where the referee made contact with the ball. Now it's with Joe Cairns. Can United take advantage here? Goes to the ground and tries to drag down the, United, the uh, Newark man with him. But the referee has given the free kick in favour of Cairns for the initial push by Cotton. If Cairns went to ground on his own, then it would have been a free kick to Newark. He certainly had a piece up the shirt, but Cotton Macy making contact first. Referee feeling that it was sufficient contact to send Cairns to the ground, and the referee has given the free kick on the right-hand corner of the penalty area. If that was an, an inch further forward, that would have been a penalty. Time to score now. It is. That's time, yeah. Well, we said earlier, it seems like a one-goal game. If there's going to be a winner, it will be a one-goal game. Over to you, Josh O'Grady. I can't count the amount of free kicks he's scored over the years for Coventry United. We need another one here. It's nodded up by the defender, and O'Grady will track back to collect the seconds. Cotton. 
the referee brings an exhausting battle to an end. You don't get many nil-nils as good as this. Both sides certainly earning their share of the spoils. What we lacked in goals was made up for by the sheer determination of every man on that pitch. It may not have been a 10 goal thriller, but it was certainly a noteworthy match and a job well done for the players of Newark and Coventry United. The final score in the Midland Football League Premier Division, Newark flow serve nil, Coventry United nil.